Libra, oh Libra, what's popping Libra gang, 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 hey? <laughs> hey boo, hey, welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel, it's your first time viewing my channel, hi, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards going to say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cusses don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that don't cuss. Because I'm going to do that. All right? To the uh, new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. Will it is functional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do cuss. We grow. We love. We share. We enlighten. We evolve. Posy vibes only over here. We're family. Y'all don't cut me okay don't cut me my plan actually for you guys was to go live for y'all in cancer just like i did capricorn and sag but uh what happened was i gotta get a whole nother damn power cord for my computer mercury retrograde said fuck are you and what you got going on bitch so you know they mercury had other plans so here we are without further ado y'all i apologize uh because a leaper had commented on the Taurus video and uh that uh i think what was it i am Faye or something like that I'm sorry, baby. I love you. Here you go. Here I go. Here I go. I actually moved y'all up on the list because I'm like, listen, Libra ain't finna cut me, boo. They ain't finna cut me. So I was trying to get another power cord and then go live with you all, but I got to get these videos out. So here we is. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings. I truly appreciate it. Uh, to the returning family, y'all, are we in this space, you guys, of uh, getting our shit together? We healing? I got Libra rising, so I'm trying to listen. Are we healing? <laughs> you guys, this is the season of the re. You know, regenerations, renewals, releasing, rebirths, you know. And a lot of us, you guys, you guys are usually very empathic. It don't feel real good. Really, since about that Sagittarius full moon, I don't know what the fuck that moon had a hip in it. <laughs> But let me tell you, that Sagittarius full moon, I had not, y'all, I have not had a really good night's sleep in days and Sundays. I just be like, oh my gosh, I feel everybody's intensity. I've had some upgrades. So it's just like, sheesh. So we're needing to rest and rejuvenate um, self first, self care, okay, self reflection, self evaluation, self integration, you guys. We are sending, you know, these frequencies as we move through this down from the third dimension consciousness into fourth dimension consciousness uh, con conscientiousness awareness um a lot of things are going to change we're going to see a lot of different aspects around our legality systems um our justice system a lot of things to expect i told y'all earlier i felt something climatic was going to come um and they had some damn earthquakes up in la so you know you guys we are in the midst of climate chaos because we are all elemental we are all made of up of a piece of every aspect of the earth um you guys, some of us may feel as if our foundations are being shaken, okay? And for me, that's what that earthquake um, actually symbolized, the shaking of foundations, okay? The shaking of our stability, the shaking of the things that we've once known to keep us safe, that we've once, that we've once basked in and, 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 and set in to, or felt as if we needed to keep us grounded. The grounding comes from within you. Okay, so without further ado, God, I was still in greed mode. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Libra, doing things a bit differently um, this month because I was trying to get to the get down. And ironically, I've been picking up signs in my medical, like in the in the intuitive messages, but I haven't really been placing them in there because my guides want me to focus strictly on everyone in there, everyone's self-mastery, self-care. And that's the energy that we're into, that we're in now, becoming our own magicians, really understanding the element of people just, from, uh, other than people just saying, you got every resource that you need. No, that's, that's general. You know what I'm saying? Knowing and getting to know the alchemy, aligning with them, aligning with your external and internal alchemy, aligning with your inner magician and understanding how how influential your focus, your peace, the love you put behind things and your literally and your desires really are. If you could only focus on what you want and not be way out here, be here with be here for the now. We are being stripped of control and the things that are supposed to be, they are aligning the way that they are with the little ancestral though. Okay? So 
without further ado you guys check the community tab out i have a sale that i'm extending possibly into the eighth when i get everybody updated i mean everybody uploaded um and start working on mid-months but i am going to be doing a sale i have a 15 dollar one question one answer reading and it does include um guidance it's 10 minutes long so you guys get in on that special before it ends it can be found in the community tab or the information that you need will be found below in the description box let's get it all right so we're going to start with your intuitive messages for the month I got for Libra. Y'all gave me a bunch of shit. First off, first off, I don't appreciate how y'all had me super working and shit. I'm, I'm just playing, y'all. Just really playing. I just want to make y'all smile because I really feel the energy of Libra needing to smile. Okay. Overall energy around this reading is the Four of Diamonds. Okay. So I definitely feel the energy, the aspect of healing, realigning, reassessments within the self. Okay. Um, as well as integration of the masculine and the feminine. Some of y'all could be dealing with twin flame situations or releasing situations to move towards uh, a relationship that offers you that uh, fulfillment and that that particular divinity aspect. Like some of y'all have this feeling that you know something's coming, you just don't quite know what it is. A, a lot of you all, um, there's a need for you all to stand within the moment for the now and protect your energy, okay? Reserve your energy, protect your peace, your time, your understanding, because you can't buy that shit on the shelf, but it damn sure ain't cheap nor free. You understand? Libra, what I got for you guys was shift in perception. Sorry. Shift in perception. Free yourself. Mediator. What I'm going to do right now, breathe, guilt, balance, past life, stand up for yourself, releasing blockages, only see love, interpreter, mediator, solid moves, control, new love, success, contracts, Blame, plot twists, appreciation, ungrateful. Hold on. Oh, greed, new home, self mastery, travel, ancestral cycles, reflection, alignment of self, life partner, harvest, family ties. Sit back and just watch. Spiritually protected. Opening the doors of karma. Set it on fire. I don't know what the hell that set it on fire means. Validation. Okay. Just making sure I ain't missing nothing, y'all. Them eyes bad. They pretty for nothing. Before I start recording and reading, um, the sun had actually gone down. I had to ask Ra to come back out. So if Ra happens to go down, um, y'all going to witness me tune in to the alchemy of myself to bring my people back up. Ra, ain't got time for that. Sometimes Ra be doing what they want to do. But they always answer the kid. One second. Let me cut this down right now. All right. So let's get it. Again, overall energy around the reading is the four of... Um, Diamond. So some of you guys definitely could be laying something, situations to rest, laying your burdens to rest during this time, okay? Um, I'm doing things a bit differently. Along with your angel messages, I've also added the Barbieri cards in there. I, ironically, I did get these two signs when I was meditating on your energy. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with earth signs, okay? Uh, or, or there's this need to center yourself or um, have some type of grounding to yourself during this time. So what I got for you guys was Taurus. I also got Virgo. OK, for there, there could be a balancing act or balancing a situation trying to be balanced, possibly with the Taurus or someone could be feeling off balance. But I do see balance being restored here. OK, in a partnership, in a in a situation ship. For others of you, this has to be with evening out the scales. And for some of you guys, it's definitely having to do with past life energy here. I picked it up in the meditations, uh, in, in, in the yeah, med in the meditative uh, session, and I also picked it up here, okay? We're going to get to it in just a second. But for some of you guys, some of you all have been trying to mend together, be the missing piece, be the nurturer, be the love um, to a situation that actually was a blockage in the past life for some of you all. For some of you all, this has to do with one party or both parties restricting themselves from having this rebirth. 
Okay, this has to do with someone, someone came to teach you a lesson, Libra, to teach you something, okay? And I feel like I'm hearing reflection, reflection of self, reflection of self. I'm hearing stop pointing the finger. For some of you all who are dealing with the sign of Virgo, this could have to be harmonious, um, harmonious times, balance being restored as well, some type of restructuring of a foundation. Or someone feeling as if they are, they are lacking that aspect of um, harmony, being harmonious. Okay, for some of you all, this is you're, you're needing. Some of y'all may even be getting a pool to the water. Okay, to go to the water to heal. Some of you all may also be connecting with uh, water goddesses during this time. Some of you all are connecting to goddesses of the sky, star goddesses. Some of you all come from. Um, some of y'all come from a, a, a line of white witches or. For some of you all, it's balancing the, the 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 aspect of the darkness and the light. Not judging your shadows. Not fearing. Uh, not fearing confronting. Not yeah. Not fearing confronting your shadows. But I feel as if embracing them, aligning with them, to attune them into pretty much to attune them to transmute them, so that you can use your light aspect to yourself. There's, okay, my guides are saying, what's the sun without the moon? Okay, so that's for someone. Um, but it's it's like it's like perfecting, like mastering the self to protect. I mean, to protect. Well, for, yeah, to protect your damn energy, but for also to. It's like a lot of you all are in this in this season of harvest, and for some of you all, you feel as if. Even though things are moving forward, you're not seeing results. And it's because you're staying in this energy of obsessing over what you don't have, what you don't see, what's not working. Some of y'all, okay, puppy ass do this on a few videos. They did it on Taurus video, okay? He did it on Aquarius video, and I'm not sure if he did it on Lee. Some of y'all may have a Sagittarius in and out your goddamn life. They want to come in, they want to come out. Puppy, no, sit, sit down. You stuck like Chuck now, baby. You don't ask, it. don't bust up in here if you ain't gonna sit down. Sorry, okay. That's that's how you gotta get them together. So that's Sagittarius. Some you might have to hope stand your ground. That's for some, that didn't happen by mistake, okay. For others of you, this could also have to do with you guys standing your ground and not allowing people to just come in and do what the fuck they want to do, okay. For some reason, Spirit really wants me to express to you. The passion that's needed behind the authority. Say what you say what you mean and mean what you say. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Sometimes you got to show. It's not really about showing a motherfucker from an ego space. Sometimes you got to show a motherfucker for your sake. But check this out. This catch twenty two. The motherfucker who you always showing is yourself, and yourself, your higher self, is needing you to allow your three D self. To receive this aspect of being a vessel divinely guided. Do you see that angel? Divinely guided for some of y'all to set some shit on fire. Okay? Burn it up. This contract is null and fucking void. Okay? For others of you, this is going to move you towards your life path. Some of y'all are going through situations where you had to release yourself, uh, release yourself from narcissists. Okay? And you found yourself, even after releasing this situation or trying to release, release the situation, like... It's kind of like um, mirroring, mirroring the face of um, of your suspect, of, of mirroring the, the 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 face of the person who did this in the first place. It's a sense of not really fighting fire with fire, but understanding that if you are in one with your damn energy and you're able to restore. And focus in on this alchemy and be aware of it. Okay, for this, you guys are in this energy of awareness. Your, your spirit is calling you to be very observative during this time. Okay, ask the right questions. Sometimes some shit is best left. Some some shit is best left unsaid because a motherfucker don't never know what you know and how you're moving. Don't let the left hand know what their right hand doing. Is it really worth it? Who does it help? But who does it affect? 
okay? First message you guys got was Counselor, Archangel Azrael. You are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. For some of you all, again, this has to do with your life path. Getting back on focus and focus on what it is that you came here for, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with um, energy like around your, like it, some of y'all could also be dealing with an inactive sacral chakra during this time. And for some of y'all, your sacral chakra is extremely active. You also, Spirit is wanting you guys to pour into, put more focus into your creative endeavors. Some of you all want to be readers. Some of you all want to be counselors. Some of y'all want to be family counselors. Some of y'all want to be marriage counselors. Others of you are dream interpreters. Some of you all are channelers. You're able to be channeled through spirit to give people that guidance. However, you're focused on needing, it's like there's a sense of needing to restore someone's confidence. Like someone yeah, and trust the guidance that you're receiving. Some y'all are really, some y'all are possibly connecting with an ancestor. Um, some y'all could have lost your mother in the last three to seven years. I'm hearing someone's mother is assisting them in trying to break an ancestral cycle. Like you are, I keep saying the key. So you are the key. You may even be whoever I'm talking to may even be wearing keys or because I'm seeing keys around the neck. And it's blingy, so I know I'm talking to a woman. But I keep saying you are the, the reason why you're attached to that key is because um, you are the key to breaking a cycle in this life. Some of y'all, this has to do with um, ancestral cycles around the father as well. I see the mother and the father, but I feel like if this is the father, this could be someone's brother who crossed over. Someone wants to know that you are spiritually protected and you are being guided. You are being used as a vessel to shine your light on humanity, okay? The balance, wisdom. Some of you all also may, may, uh, may be dreaming of esoteric, um, like like geometric like shapes or, or, or symbols. Some of you all have a tie to some type of comedic background. Um, some of you all are also, some of y'all are also being used as vessels um, by goddesses during this time. Some Somebody has a connection, huh? to two of the goddesses that I actually channel. Somebody has a connection with Isis. Another has a connection with Mayat. And there's someone who also has a connection with Naut. Naut. The next message you guys got was Indigo and Crystal Children. Some of you all are also being used as a vessel. For those of you who feel as if you are infertile, some of you guys are going to find out that spirit has blessed your womb during this time. If you're having, it's, I'm hearing miracles. So some of y'all could experience a miracle around the blessings, around the womb. Some of y'all could be, found, especially this is, I'm speaking to somebody who they're saying infertility. Somebody thought that they were infertile. You're being used as a vessel to bring in a star seed or an indigo child. I'm also hearing, um, oh, oh, few. Ophucius. Some of you guys could have a child that is a Sagittarius that has the Ophucius spirit. There's like wealth already ordained unto your family, unto your legacy, unto your bloodline. But you need to step into your power to nurture this child. Needs a particular type of nurturing as the wounded healer. Some of y'all may also be researching this as well. I know I have. Um, with my child, because I know I have a star seed, my womb, um, my, my service doesn't expand. Um, and so I know that in this life, I was destined to have two children. The first one I lost, the second one he made it. So that was my technical first. And so I'm also destined to have a little girl. And so I know that, you, so for some of you all, you are the vessel to a continuation of a consciousness, like to birth a new, to birth a new consciousness or to birth a particular consciousness. This message comes from, and I'm sorry if I'm excited, y'all, but your message feels as if spirit has really been trying to talk to you all. And it was as if a lot of you all may lean on other people for understanding, but it, 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 there, there's, I feel that be open and, and receptive to advice, but lean on your own understanding because other people during this time, you guys are kind of leaving yourself open for uh, judgment or that, you know, that, that feeling of blame or pointed fingers. And I feel as if, it's only putting you in this stage of feeling as if you're being persecuted, okay? So some of y'all may be in this space of solitude during this time, and it's okay. There's this energy of healing trying to be bestowed upon to you. 
So if your friends and your family don't understand that Libra been back, Libra been doing that shit, Libra been pulling away. It's a need. It's like they don't. Spirit doesn't want you to have a wall, but to definitely go inside yourself internally, go inside yourself, going inward, turning inwardly. You have a bond with children, in particular. You can help children who are sensitive, okay? So some of you all, some of y'all, and I'm hearing disability. So some of y'all want to work with children who have disability or some type of special needs, okay? And others of you, and some of y'all are having this lack mindset because you feel as if, well, I don't have the education. Well, I don't have this, but you got God on your side. You got that. Spirit is saying, don't lean on your own understanding. What am I here for? Don't limit me. Don't limit God. Don't limit me. I can make anything possible. Through me and your connection with me, through you, with the self, you can move three fucking mountains if you believe you can. So there's a need to let the burdens go, baby. Embrace the lessons. Leave that hurt where it's at. Learn from it. And in doing so, will you be at one with your damn shadow side because it was shadow aspects of yourself too that made you stay in those situations. But you embrace that aspect of yourself because with that aspect of yourself, you understand going forward when healing other people what it is that they need. This also has to do with healing your inner child. Foundations. Resetting foundations. Somebody had father issues. Somebody didn't have the best relationship with their mother, but their mother has passed over. And your mom, your mom wants to assist you on your journey. And you're so sad. Sorry. Someone lost a child and they can't have another child. So you think, because you will. But you have to know it. You have to let go of this other child that you lost. Libra, and because I have gone through that, which is why I shared that spirit put it on my heart to share with you all, because I have gone through that, it is making it through those shadows to even be able to be vulnerable, to give you this, to let you know I feel you. I feel you. And it's okay to cry. You don't have to be strong all the time. It's okay to not be strong. Your guides want to assist you. I heard fasting. Some of you all may be fasting from social media. Others of you, there may be some type of diet change or some type of diet. Some of you guys are um, feeling not so confident about your weight because you've been dealing with a narcissistic energy. Some of you all are back and forth in your head should you open the door or reopen the door with a narcissist for the sake of your children the spirit is saying get you right first get you right align yourself and don't look at that situation for don't don't immediately claim that it's going to be negative and don't live in that place of fear before you allow yourself to experience how much and show yourself through facing your damn monster in the closet how much you've grown. <laughs> Spirit is saying during this time release relinquish control. Moving forward, there's a need for you to let go of control, let go of control and simply go with the flow, even if you have to create it by your damn self. Find your flow. Even in the midst of control, this is about going inward, being invisible in a room full of motherfucking people to get you right if you have to. Grounding yourself. Some of you all, there's a need for you, again, not to be, you don't have to be so strong. It's okay to cry because it's heavy. And you don't deserve what I'm feeling that you've gone through. But you have to let the devil know he's a motherfucking liar. You, all them damn devils, because the, the 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 perception that people have on devils, it's a bunch of fucking devils. Devils walk amongst us every day. They call shapeshifters. Look them up. Some of y'all, and, and I'm gonna say it because spirit put it on my heart while I was talking about them devils. Some of y'all will literally during this time. Some of y'all spiritual gifts are enhancing. 
going through an upgrade. So some of you all may literally see people's eyes. Like some of y'all may see people's eyes change. I'm, I'm picking that up. I, I saw the eyes change. I also saw, thank you, Rob, for coming in, y'all. The sun started shining in on me. I had to connect. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but for some of you all, yeah. That even even I'm even hearing go with the flow of the control. Go with the flow. Some of you guys are being used as a vessel. So you have to trust yourself here to move forward because it's a part of your soul contract. Okay, so for those of you who I was speaking about the vessel of releasing the situation, a narcissist, some of y'all is going to be the catalyst to someone else's awakening, which is why you have to release it, okay? So you're going through a rebirth, Libra. You're releasing shit in your own life. Finding your inner, channeling your inner strength, turning your pain into power, progressing forward. Something that was once a past life hurdle. Others of you, you will be the vessel used to rectify past life karma. If you guys have a have a history of there being narcissism in the family, there being an abusive father or um, a, a, an addicted mother or a, a mother who was cold, who didn't give you that nurturing, abandonment issues, being rejected by your parents, there's a need to rectify. But you're not going to do it trying to control every damn thing. It's a need to believe in what's unseen. Okay. So let's see what's going on in y'all love life. Y'all got me up in here crying and stuff. So y'all, we were fighting fuzz. Y'all family though, it gets a little sensitive sometimes. But you know, there's a need for you guys to. And I'm also feeling like someone has this energy of loss. The spirit is saying anything is possible. And there's a need for you to move away from the feeling of loss or being. Some of y'all also feel like you were like defeated okay there is no defeat some of you guys catalyst situations are happening so that you can be removed from a situation to go find your inner strength and what messages do you have for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as well as the Cross Watchers for the month of July 2019 in love what messages do you have for my Librans yeah some of you guys are feeling rejected or left out in the cold possibly by Leo okay Others of you, yeah, others of you, you're rejecting offers. You're not wanting to, yeah, somebody, somebody's dealing with the Leo and this person wants to, okay, gotcha. Thank you, spirit. Some of you feel as if you're giving, you're over giving to a situation and some of you guys were given to a situation to try to control holding on to a situation that still makes you feel as if you're unseen or, you know, someone's going Without noticing you, some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's very controlling. Some of y'all may be seeing 444 during this time, which has to do with the abundance. Baby, when you see 444, your angels are everywhere. Make a talk to them, okay? They are protecting you. Some of you all are dealing with a situation where you could have moved away from someone, okay, confidently, and this person is trying to control how things go. And some of y'all, this person is even using your children to do so, which is forcing you and make forcing you to make a decision. Some of you guys. Possibly have a Libra. I mean, it's Libra. Some of y'all possibly have a Leo on the outside, okay, that is feeling very rejected. And I feel like this person, whoever this is, this Libra, I mean, this Libra, Libra, I'm sorry, this Leo, okay, this person may be talking shit about you too, because see how I kept, this person may be talking a lot of shit. It made my fucking um, ears get a lot hot too on the low. Some of you guys are needing to choose or being forced to choose between um, a Capricorn. And an earth sign, I mean, not an earth sign, and a Leo. Others of you, if you're dealing with the sign of Leo, maybe this person could have picked someone over you. Someone made a decision and they chose to go with the toxic ass decision, okay? And for some of you all, some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel as if you could have a family with this person. I feel as if either you or this other person is feeling rejected. They're feeling as if they, 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 someone's not seeing what's right in front of them. And it's making another person very defensive. It's making another person, yeah. Someone wants to move away from a family situation. Especially if you have a family with the fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all, someone's traveling in to come and see you. And I feel like Le uh, a Libra, you're very defensive during this time. You don't want to hear the shit. You don't want some of y'all is making a decision not to make a damn decision. You're just abandoning the ship. 
Some of you guys are possibly leaving an earth sign behind Capricorn Taurus Virgo because this person is indecisive on which way they want to go. And you feel in this sense of disloyalty. You're not loyal. So why would I keep investing in you? Yeah. You're not offering no damn love. I'm over it. You all you've been offering me half assness. Some of y'all I'm hearing five, ten. Some of y'all been dealing with this situation for five years, ten years, five months, ten months, but there's a need for you all to take this leap of faith, okay? Some of you all are moving away from a situation that you feel obligated to deal with, okay? Because you feel yeah, some of y'all are feeling as if you feel obligated to deal with the situation because somebody don't have nobody else. Listen here. <laughs> God is still real. This is a situation where I said I feel like some of y'all are going to be the catalyst to someone else's awakening. Codependency. Someone is very codependent on another person, okay? And someone, there's yeah, there's a new beginning that's not getting off the, off the ground, possibly with a Leo, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Someone, someone also... Have a yeah. Someone also has a baby or uh, well, child's mother, child's father that wants to rectify a situation after them releasing a toxic situation, and you are still needing to make a decision to release a toxic situation. And intuitively, intuitively, you know this was God sent. Some y'all just have to do with a damn Sagittarius. That's why I talk to y'all a bit. Some y'all have to just have to do with a damn Sagittarius. For others of you, this has to do with divine timing. Okay, there's a, there's a need to trust your intuition, trust the synchronicities that you receive, and trust your dream space. Okay, for some of you all, you some y'all gonna get an offer for a job, and some y'all, some y'all got somebody in y'all energy. This person is, I feel like somebody got, is in your energy. You may find out that this person is putting up money or hiding money to move forward. I feel like this person, you give, you give, you constantly could be helping out, helping this person out financially just for this person to go reconcile with another person who could be someone who they have children with or could be someone in the past. This person could be, um, uh, shitty. this person could be any sign, but they could be an earth sign. And they could be dealing with a water sign, another earth sign, or a fire sign. I feel like, Libra, you laying a shit to rest. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm tired. Others of you, reconciling with someone, okay, from the past, Libra, is going to bring you this newness that you've been looking for. And allow you, allow you, like, some of y'all are putting time and focus and all of this energy into what you want. But God trying to give you what you need. Yeah, some of y'all got a water sign. Strong Scorpio. Pisces, this person is sorry. They sorry. Somebody didn't treat you the best. Someone didn't want to open up emotionally. Somebody always had um uh, a more than, more than two bitches, okay? Because I see this is a male energy that I'm seeing, so I'm going to go there. Somebody always had more. They, it's like someone couldn't make up their damn mind. Someone, yeah. Libra, some of y'all are going to go rectify a situation possibly with your family. Some of you guys, um, your children, there's a focus around children as well. Some of y'all children uh, may be going through some type of health issues during this time. Some of y'all are going to find out that this is genetic. Okay, this is why this person is coming back who you have children with. This person is who coming back. Some of y'all could also find out um, what make you laugh and make you cry. You got to watch how you treat people because you'll never know where they're going to end up. Yeah, karma got served to somebody. Karma's getting served to someone. You guys, some of you guys in this new cycle, you're going to focus on your damn self. Or moving forward, fuck it. I'm going to focus on my money, my independence, my business, my skin, my damn weight, my happiness. Some of you guys are going to be moving, okay? Some of y'all is secretly moving. Somebody's going to go. Some of y'all is going to move all of y'all shit because I'm seeing this. <laughs> ah! to move all y'all shit somebody dealing with somebody who either work at night or work early in the morning so whoever is whoever is being moved away from this person has some in type of intuitive niche already that this is going to occur but i feel like they just because you've been so poker faced this person is really not 100 sure if they own to something i feel like some, some of y'all gonna pack y'all shit up in the middle of the night somebody's coming home to an empty house the first half of july because Libra has love to go give to a water sign. Okay? Huh. Or possibly a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone is wanting to open up and express themselves. For Libra, some of y'all, this could be somebody going to work and never coming back. They going to go, hmm. It's a, listen. <laughs> 
There is karma up in this thing. Somebody's going to do something sneaky, Libra. I feel like you feel like something is coming, but it's coming at the time. Yeah, some of you guys are being blessed with the reconciliation with possibly someone who you already have children with. Some of y'all are reconciling with your twin flame who may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And in doing so, it's going to make your money grow. It's going to make you pop financially, okay? This has to do with making a decision on a right away, on a, on a, pretty much a right away or when is it? The right away of passage, okay? <sighs> One decision, hmm, yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, okay, some of you all, some of y'all, the catalyst situation that could be releasing you from a situation is finding out that someone is pregnant, someone could be going back to a family, some of y'all could be finding out that, um, or someone, I definitely feel someone is trying to reconcile a family to move things forward, but in order to do so with this reconciliation, Somebody has to move forward and get that damn monkey off their back. And for some y'all, it's a catalyst situation that is going to free your ass from not only this mental prison, but the damn external prison that you have been feeling as if you're stuck or you're stagnant in, okay? I definitely feel like someone, yeah, truth and clarity. Ooh, kill them. Listen, <laughs> I'm going to ask for the outcome. I got them. Listen, truth is, okay, truth is. I am moving forward. I'm going to go have my ha happiness. Happiness is my birthright. I'm going to go get that. Okay. Ain't going to be successful in doing so. <laughs> because I deserve a commitment. Okay. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Taurus. Others of you, um, some of y'all are uh, moving forward with the Taurus, renewing or restructuring, or some of y'all are releasing. Okay. Some of you guys are going to be uh, receiving some type of fast communication, fast moving communication. I feel like some of y'all going to cut somebody off and tell them that you're gone once you're gone. Like when this person calls you like, wow, your stuff there. You're like, oh, you ain't know I moved out. I moved to Kentucky. I moved, uh, I moved to Colorado. I moved to Arizona. I'm here in California. I moved to California. I'm on uh, somebody else is going to Florida. I moved. I'm gone. Somebody thought they had a bunch of options to, 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 to look and realize the main motherfucker who you've been neglecting. I ain't here no more. And who else is going to put up with this shit? The seven of cups is in reverse. So some of you guys are doing this when this person is trying to find balance. Some of y'all, this person wants to renew a relationship. And Libra didn't have about a fuck enough. I'm done. Okay? For some of you all, this is fast-moving fast, fast communication with someone coming in and saying, Listen, Libra, I don't want to have any more options. I don't want to. Listen, I cut, off, I cut off all my hoes. But I... <laughs> But I cut up all my hoes. I did, I did, I cut up all my hoes. And Libra's like, so fucking what? So what? Some of you guys just have to do with work being um re like someone willing, someone wanting to put in the work after you stand up for yourself and hit the fucking dog. Okay. Others of you, some of y'all could have been going through a divorce, or somebody don't want to get divorced because they somebody that's thought they. I feel like the lawyer or someone that. Somebody has started running some damn numbers. Like somebody was like, oh, it's going to cost this much. And that person was like, what? I got to pay that much to separate from somebody? Oh, no, baby. We, we in love forever. We happy forever. But listen, baby, baby, you can have whatever you like. This, You can have what you want, baby. I don't care. I'm, I'm sorry. You can have it, okay? Others of you, this has to do with uh, if you're going through any type of uh, legalities, any type of um, Anything with the justice system, justice does, look, justice does look to be in your favor, okay? You will prevail against anybody that was coming for you or coming against you or trying to use you or manipulate you, okay? For some of you all, you're going to be, some of y'all, a Scorpio is going to tell you how they feel. This could be somebody who you have children with. This could be somebody who treated you bad, but somebody didn't live the karma that they put on you. Somebody didn't live their own karma of the hurt that they caused you. So now they're sorry. If this is a reconciliation, take it slowly. But face your monster because I feel like there's a need for you to speak your truth and let it go. Okay? So, you guys, we're releasing anxieties, okay? Possibly around a Virgo, Capricorn. We, we, we're getting out of this space. And we're going to motherfucking cause the towers. Fuck of that. Fuck of you. Nah, nah. Some of y'all going to resist that damn Scorpio or this damn Aries, too. Some of y'all have an Aries being resistant. Or someone, some of y'all dealing with this King of Pentacles that's finna. Cause a tile moment only to be resisted, okay? And some of y'all, um, some of you guys could be resisting a tile moment around the King of Pentacles, even though you stalking, you are another person, it's stalking a soulmate, okay? 
So it's about being happy, actually getting what it is that you deserve versus looking at what it is that you wanted or what you were trying to put together. That spirit keeps showing you is not working. So by some of y'all leaving, some, getting past this energy and feeling as if, well, I wanted that. I wanted to listen. You better grab them motherfucking two cups and go run and go have a few minutes, girl. Listen here. Go touch the stars. Shoot for the stars. You want to stay your ass down here on some damn uh fucking, what's this, cement ground? No, choppy waters. Make a decision to make the decision. To choose happiness, abundance, prosperity, internal healing. Because in the past life, this was the problema. We could not let it go. Some of y'all are cutting off a of Virgo from your past, which is something that you found out about a third party. Somebody could have been, um, some, some of y'all going to find out somebody been in your face. And then literally taking your business back to the, like, some of y'all think y'all can trust y'all friends. Or some of y'all feel as if y'all have a friend that you can trust. You're going to find out that somebody really did some some of the darndest shit during this time. And there's a need for you to be cool. Be grateful. Because this person showed they ass before I walked into my blessings. Motherfucker, when I move away, I'm the motherfucking empress. Some of y'all... The mother and father of your child is on their way, okay? And some of y'all are going to go build this new found stability, this happiness with the cancer. Others of you, this could be moving forward and actually being successful in your business endeavors. Everything that you've been trying to grow, it wasn't meant for another person to eat at your damn table. That's Libra's fucking table. Things could be possibly progressing. Uh, some of y'all moving forward uh, later in the month of July could be finding out that you're pregnant too. Good shit. Congratulations, Libra. Especially those, somebody who I was just crying with, okay? Congratulations, boo. It's yours. You deserve it. You manifest it. It's yours. For whoever I'm, in, whoever I'm speaking to, you've been waiting on this for a while, okay? Others of you, this has to do with uh, your business moving forward, growth in your business, progression, abundance, okay? Building empires. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the Pisces, a Libra, a Taurus, an Aries, a Virgo, a Gemini. But you're definitely releasing motherfuckers. Some of y'all are releasing the motherfucker who was trying to hold on to you with bonding spells and shit. That's for a whole nother conversation, all right? You guys, I pray that this message resonated with you. Y'all comment, let me know what was going down. I didn't plan to talk for 40 nothing minutes, y'all, but it got real up in here. I love you guys. I send you nothing but healing, loving, blessings, as well as joy, peace, and prosperity, baby. Nothing but the best because you deserve it. Gang, gang, I love you guys. Namaste.